So today we just uh, bring a community together all under the, the name and the premise of poetry. It's poetry on the ad, but we bring in all kind of other artistic elements. So today is just like a community gathering with a lot of upcoming poets, like for school, they have food, they have trucks and stuff where you can eat, you know, just sit down and enjoy yourself. On my poetry pieces, I have two pieces that I'm performing today, and one is about culture and one is about social justice. The culture piece is more about New Orleans on the positive side, and the social justice piece is more of New Orleans on the negative side. I was born with culture that contained many features. Born up in a time where they say I wouldn't make it, but continuously I take all the rumors and break it. Survived Katrina, so much to remember. To sum it up, it were divided, but came back together. On to continue my life as a Florida I am New Orleans. New Orleans is me. Thank you. When I found poetry through Mr. Mark, it made me notice that you can find other ways to express your feelings. So that's why I started writing poetry. You know, there's critical analysis that happens here. There's English language uh, skills that they pick up from this. And it translates back to what they do in the classroom because they're a lot more aware. You can't do this to me just because of the color of my skin. You have to see the real me. The me within. Slavery is over, it's canceled, it's done. Look, my hand's up, but why are you still holding that gun? If I could just put the absolute focus and lens just on the poetry, I could let them go. Let their spirits free, let their imaginations wander and go as far as it needs to. And a lot of emotional healing, quite honestly, comes out of that because kids are getting in and start telling all kinds of stories. So it empowers them in a lot of ways. 